Welcome everybody! What's up? Good morning. This is uh Happy Sunday. This is, yeah, it would be Sunday. Today's Saturday though. This is the Cunninghams. We are uh, in Mercer County. Yes, greetings from Mercer County, New Jersey. In the battlefield. Yeah, we're in a battlefield. Um, hey, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh it's good to see you guys. I hope you guys enjoy uh, today's children's ministry lesson. Uh, we want to welcome everyone. Summer is about to be over officially. Uh, I know, right? The sad, the sad, and school is starting. Uh, so we're praying that you guys are. Yeah. <laughs> we're praying for a good school we're, year. We're praying that Sean enjoys school. Yes. <laughs> Let's pray for uh, the service we're gonna have today. Yes. Dear Heavenly Father, God, Lord, thank you so much for today, an opportunity to worship you. We pray that we're able to have uh, fun, enjoy today's service, that we learn more about you, that we learn to love God and love uh, our friends and family and our neighbors as well. We thank you so much for this time. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We are soldiers. We're in the army. We're gonna fight, we're gonna hold up the bloodstained banner. We're gonna hold it up until we die. You know what I mean now? She was a soldier. She put her hand to the gospel plot. Yes, she did. And one day she got old. She couldn't fight anymore. She had to stand up and fight anyhow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We are soldiers. We're in the army. We're gonna fight our mm -hmm. We gotta hold up the bloodstained banner. We gotta hold it up until we die. You know, Jenna, yeah. she was a soldier. She put her hand to the gospel. Yes, she did. And one day she got old. She couldn't fight anymore. She had to stand up and fight anyhow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We are soldiers. We gotta fight. Uh -huh. We gotta fight. We gotta hold up. The blood stained banner. We you gotta, gotta hold it up until we die. die. You know, Sean, hey. he was a soldier. Hey. He got his hands in the gospel so fire. Yes, he did. And one day he, he got, got old. He couldn't fight, fight anymore. He, he had to stand up and fight anyhow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> we are soldiers. We're in the army. We gotta fight. Oh, we gotta fight. We gotta hold up the blood stained banner. We gotta hold it up until we die. Woo! Hey, good morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, everyone. Hey, good morning. Hey, good morning. Guys, uh, it has been very much exciting uh, to watch uh, the youth and family services every morning, Ooh. Sunday morning, I mean, uh, with my family. It's been great yeah. to be engaged uh, with the kids. They look I forward to it. They actually call it um, Uncle James' <laughs> service, but definitely it's been a lot of fun. I had a lot of activities actually uh, that we have loved throughout the entire whole series. Uh, my wife actually will share some things. So we love to be able to, um, to worship with them in the mornings, mostly through song um, and using our guitars, like you guys have seen us, and our instruments. We'll be we have been able to. Um, just do activities here out in the backyard or in our home uh, after the service. It's a great time to, to talk about God and to talk about how we feel um, and how much we, we are thankful for what God has done for our lives. Uh, our kids are young, so sometimes we modify the activities a little bit, but walks um, out in our neighborhood and experiments with water and, and our water table back here in the backyard has, has been our go-to. Um, during this time so we're so thankful for this opportunity to be able to still talk to them and and have help them to learn about God through um, through service and worship thank you so much for everyone who has contributed Nathaniel say thank you no one says something oh what do you want to say thanks uh, definitely what I did to what my wife said I think one of the things that uh, this pandemic has been very helpful uh, with us is just having consistent time with the kids in the morning having a quiet time and getting to sing some songs my kids love to sing a lot and so it's been a lot of fun uh, just being able to engage them in uh, singing and really enjoying the stories of the Bible 
I think another thing that we do also as well uh, after um, the Youth and Family Services is uh, another show called um, Life Kids. Uh, it's definitely very uh, practical and nuances that kind of help the kids also to just get the message that's been sent across. And so it's something we definitely, uh, uh, if anyone yeah. wants to look into it, will recommend. Where it's been fun, it's been yeah. encouraging. I love spending time with my kids, so does my wife too as well. Yeah. Uh, has, this has been great. Uh, definitely been able to be like, uh, be yeah. in there uh, throughout the entire whole services with them and yeah. encourage them too as well. Yeah. Guys, this has been fun again. Uh, we hope this encourages you. Uh, I pray um, that hopefully soon we'll be able to meet together and uh, do this uh, actually in person. We love you guys. Uh, we'll see you soon. Bye bye now. Bye bye now. I bought Jesus. Dad, dad, say it. I bought singing. I bought Jesus. I bought Jesus. Dad, dad, Jesus. I bought Jesus. Dad, dad, Jesus. Come on, Leah, sing it. Say, up, up, Jesus. You do it, Leah. Say, up, up, Jesus. Yeah. Up, up, Jesus. Down, down, Satan. Up, up, Jesus. Down, down, Satan. Come on. Up, up, Jesus. Come on. Down, down, Satan. Come on. Up, up, Jesus. Come on. Down, down, Satan. <laughs> Say, yay. Good job, everybody. Um, I like to pray and also read the Bible. Yeah. Wonderful. Hi, I'm Gabriel, and I'm going to talk about what I'm doing this summer. We went to Lake George this summer and checked out Fort William Henry. We even went to the lake. We went to the park too. We even went to the beach. We even went to Cape Cod, my favorite. So what I've learned this summer is that we're very fortunate to have all these blessings from God. He's right. We should all think of the things that we have, not the things we don't have. We wanted to uh, just talk about how our summer was. <laughs> it was, uh, this is a crazy year. We had uh, a lot going on with COVID and um, there's a lot of other stuff going on. But um, Joanna's gonna start off with uh, some of the things that uh, we've been doing. But we've had a very full summer. Um, we had a lot of plans. <laughs> we planned for the Vision 2020 and um, it just didn't happen. So we had to switch and um, get creative with 
the trips that we took and um, we did take a couple of trips this summer, a couple of road trips and um, we went camping um, and it's it's been it was a lot of fun and it was just you know different you know we had to take stay close to home and we didn't want to go too far and we didn't want to be around a lot of people of course and um just trying to keep safe um and for us a lot of things haven't really changed in terms of since i homeschool already um for my kids to change they adapted very quickly to everything because um Usually when the spring comes, we start going out more to museums, so we weren't able to do those things anymore. But um, somehow we just figured out what to do. And one of the great things is, um, you know, that we continue to, um, our, in our groups, we met up with different people, different people in our groups, and um, we had different get-togethers. And um, But it was safe. It was, you know, um, only the people that we did know we went in our group. Happy Sunday! Good morning, everyone. Well, today we want to share what um, the blessings that we have gotten through the pandemic. And for us in this household, and I think most households, the blessing that we have received has been that we've become closer, right, Bella, as a family. Yeah. More game nights. What else? Ice cream nights. Puzzle night, nights, movie, movie nights, nights, right? Taco nights, hamburger nights, a whole bunch of different nights. <clears throat> And um, we've been working out. I've lost 20 pounds. Me Bella too. lost some weight as well. Just eating healthy and just, just really taking care of ourselves. But the most important thing is just being a family unit, right? And we've been doing a lot of just game nights and, and, and um, loving up on each other and talking a lot. My son, Bella, even my 20-year-old daughter who moved, she comes out here and, you know, meets up with me. We have lunch. And, you know, we make it special and I make sure that I have quality time with each of them and with all of them together as well. So I think this is where the blessings um, have come. And there's so many countless blessings. Um, but uh, one of the things that I love so much was that Bella was able to go to the virtual camp this summer. And there's been many summers where she didn't, couldn't go or she wasn't ready for it, you know. And I wasn't ready either. So it, then I came up with the idea like, hey, it's virtual. And so we said, you know what, let me try it. And she absolutely loved it. The classes were amazing. We had ice cream night, a dance night. Um, they had all these different activities. Um, we met uh, a woman that won like three Emmys who did like um, costumes and Bella. They loved Bella. She was Gina. a part of the class, Gina, right? And um, she also did art. Um, it was just different, many, many different classes, many different activities, but one of her favorite was art class and it was with Daisy, um, Daisy and Amanda from Lower Westchester. And so, well, not Amanda, just Daisy. So this is what she did right here. And this is two hands. And then in the middle, it's what, Bella? Women's. What's in the middle? A heart. A heart, right? So it's the sunset. Isn't it beautiful? So Bella did this with Daisy, um, and, and the other class mates um this is romans 5 8 I, and bella wants to read it but god thinks give it his only own love for us in this bottle we will still send us this is this is crisis Five. Right, so I can read, read that. Can I read it? You want me to read it again for you, honey? Sure. Okay. But God demonstrated his own love for us in this. While we were all sinners, Christ died for us. And that's the scripture that she wanted to share. And you see the love. Jesus died for us because he loves us, right? He loved mm -hmm. us. And so it just helps us to um, know that we uh, have to also you know, love one another um, by giving and helping and just being there for one another and that we would die for someone because we love them the way Jesus uh, loved us. And this is what we wanted to share this Sunday. We hope you have a great, great Sunday and a great um, rest of the week. Bye. Go. Hey, good hey. morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, everyone. What is your name? Natalia. And who's that? Leah. 
and I'm John. Uh, we're glad uh, to connect with you this morning. I just definitely want to say uh, the youth and family service 